In modern armored warfare, one surprising and devastating sight has become all too common. Russian tank turrets being blown into the air after being hit. This problem, often called the jack-in-the-box effect, comes from serious design flaws in Soviet and Russian tanks. To understand how this happens, we need to look a little bit at the history of Soviet tank design and why these flaws still exist in modern vehicles like the T-72, T-80 and T-90. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union had a simple goal when it came to tanks. Make a lot of them. Their strategy was based on the thought of creating basic and not too advanced tanks so that they could be produced in large quantities easily and cheaply. Western countries took a different approach. They built tanks like the M1 Abrams, Leopard 2 and Challenger which were packed with very advanced features to protect the crew, such as thick armor and systems that reduced the risk of deadly explosions as well as blowout panels. For the Soviets, however, the safety of the crew was a lower priority and their designs reflected that. Now this may sound like I'm talking badly about Soviet designs, but to be honest, I think it's a lot more complicated than that. If you want to hear more about the Soviet quantity over quality approach, feel free to watch my video about that. One major design choice that makes Russian tanks vulnerable is the way they store ammunition. Most Russian tanks use a carousel autoloader which stores ammunition in a ring at the base of the turret, right below the crew. This design saves space, makes the loader jobless and makes the tank smaller and lighter, which helps it move faster and be harder to see. Now, what's the problem with that? The problem is that when an anti-tank weapon penetrates the armor and sets off the ammunition inside the tank, it causes a massive explosion which builds up pressure inside the tank. Since tanks are usually fully buttoned up, basically sealed, and Russian tanks don't have blowout panels to redirect the pressure to, the pressure has nowhere else to go, so it blows out from where it is the easiest, which would be the turret of the tank's body, sending the turret flying into the air. Needless to say, the crew doesn't enjoy that uh, occurrence. These flaws in Russian tank designs have been painfully obvious in recent wars such as Ukraine and Syria, but also in less recent wars like Chechnya. Tanks like the T-72 and T-80 have been easy targets for modern weapons such as ATGMs and large landmines. In contrast, western tanks keep their ammunition in separate compartments with special blowout panels and thick walls. If the ammunition is hit, these panels direct the explosion away from the crew, giving them a chance to escape. These tanks also use a human loader instead of an auto loader. This makes the tank larger but allows ammunition to be stored more safely away from the crew. While western tanks are not invincible, their design greatly reduces the chances of the crew being killed in a single hit. Russian engineers have tried to address these issues, but progress has been slow. The T-90M, one of Russia's newer tanks, has moved some ammunition to external storages, but they still use the carousel auto loader. This reduces the risk somewhat, but the basic problem of the carousel autoloader remains. During earlier conflicts like the Chechen wars, Russian forces carried fewer rounds to limit the danger, but this also reduced the tank's combat ability. Videos and photos from the war in Ukraine often show Russian tank turrets flying high into the air after being hit. These images have become a symbol of the flaws in Russian tank design. In some cases, the turrets have been found hundreds of meters away from the rest of the tank. Anyways, that was all I had to say for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you think I said anything that is not right or you think I should have added any additional information to this video, please let me know in the comments and share your knowledge. Besides that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.